All right, 4.32 the time. Now, see, that was real news. That was news from the WBAP News Center with uh, Nicole Deal. But let me see. Let me check real quick. What uh, What is highlighted on CNN? Ah, porn star, playmate, and reality star, all in legal action over Trump. Oh, there you go. Yeah, school shootings, not enough. Uh, serial bombings aren't enough. You know, Facebook under fire. None of that's enough. The porn star is tweeting about Trump. Unprotected sex. Okay. Good. I mean, that's almost embarrassing. If I owned that network or was the news director for I would be embarrassed. Unless, of course, I was getting my marching orders from some hair-on-fire liberal someplace. I mean, did you see that? Yes, I did. I mean, I've got all these monitors in here just in case something happens. And just a steady diet of... You know, Trump's bad, Trump's Satan spawn, Trump's this, Trump. I don't care. I don't, you know, honestly, I don't think about the president that much. I think about what, you know, my audience and I'm dealing with and, okay. All right. Uh, Shall we get to the calls? Let's do that. Yes, do it. I'm not as frustrated as I was earlier. Okay. I think this one will kind of cheer you up. I think you guys, you know, coming in and hosing me down, that, that helped. Uh, let's go to Anna in Brian. Anna, thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. Hi. Thank you. What's going on, Anna? Um, well, you were talking about earlier how us kids were being used as a political pawn in this whole part of all the school shootings going on with all the protests and the walkout. Right. This actually happened at my school. Uh, I'm an eighth grader, and... We, I did not know about this until this day, um, had a walkout at school. Our school dismissed us, and I was told that it was go to pray for the victim. I had no idea it was anything about gun control. They got us out there, took a bunch of pictures, posted it on social media, and I was humiliated because those are not my beliefs. I do not think there's a problem with gun control. The school shootings that have happened are because those kids had their own problems. It's not the fact that they had access to guns. I go hunting on the weekends. I have guns. I wouldn't shoot up a school. It's not... And they used us to get their point across, and I felt like a victim to that because it's just not right. We're kids. We didn't understand. And we were told differently as to why we were going out there. Okay, and how old are you? 15? I'm 14. You're 14 years old. Okay, so... When they let class out for that 17 minutes or whatever it was, what did they tell you you were doing? They didn't tell us anything. The teachers just, like, let us go. And I was told by other kids, oh, this is to go. It's a memorial service type thing to pray for the victims. Our teachers did not inform us as to what it actually was. So when was highly irresponsible on their part. When you, uh, uh, that's true. When you got out there, who was taking pictures of you? Teachers teachers were taking picture of you on their phone on their phone okay i get it and so the whole school walked out yes there were very few few people who didn't know and i guess it's because who didn't go because i guess they actually knew what it was the rest of us did not and i was humiliated because that was just i would never go out there if i had actually known well anna you're you're 14 years old you're an eighth grader um you were uh, you walked out of class thinking it was one thing, when in fact, based on all the protests and everything, it was something else. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try and fix that for you. I, I'm gonna let you speak to hundreds of thousands of people right now. Anna's 14 in the eighth grade. Anna, what do you think about politicians using all these kids nationwide uh, for gun control? It disgusts me. We are children. I mean, yes, we are young adults, but we shouldn't No, Anna, you're fo- you're 14. You're not a young adult. You're a young lady. Go ahead. I mean, I'm just, I don't appreciate the fact that just because they want more votes or whatever it is that they want, that they use us, innocent, just kids who don't know what's going on. And they put us in the middle of it because I don't care. I don't want to be used so you get more views and more publicity. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. Anna, I'm going to do something just for you, all right? Uh, based on Anna's call, um, I'm going to put something up on uh, 
WBAP Facebook. Facebook, WBAP, hashtag schools, politician free zone. How's that? That would be awesome. Okay. Uh, David, uh, according to Anna, that would be awesome. I concur. Uh, schools, politician free zone. Got that? I got it. Anna, done. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate the call. Actually, I got an email like that not too long ago or earlier today as well. Hashtag schools, politician free zone. Well, give me one good reason why the politicians should be there other than to manipulate and use your children. Why are they there? Well, Rick, we, we kind of miss what she said also. Her class, they, they didn't have a walkout. They were dismissed. So the whole well, walkout. She said, she said so, her teachers it, let her go. Yeah, they dismissed it. But remember, it was supposed to be a walkout. These students were going to stand up and walk out of the class. Well, she didn't get the memo, all right? She didn't get the memo. Evidently, there wasn't a lot of uh, discussion back and forth. But they got pictures of all the kids outside, and that's what they were looking for, right? All right. Uh, Schools. Politician-free zone. I'm serious, man. I'm just as serious as I'm sitting here behind this microphone. There is not one good reason to have any politician other than the mayor, maybe the governor, uh, involved after one of these school shootings, not one good reason for a politician to show up. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm here. I'm a senator. I'll talk to you. Come on over here. Come on. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, forgive me. These senators, these congressmen are prostituting our kids. They're prostituting our kids. Well, they don't know yet, but their voices need to be heard. They haven't even come up with a solution yet. They don't even know what the question is that they're looking for the answer. They're being manipulated by politicians. Rick, you're really off on the politicians today, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'd I'd just be happy if they did 50% of the job they're supposed to do. All right. Uh, Let me uh, me go to Anna. Thank you for the call. Uh, Let's go to Tim in Dallas. Tim, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Tim? Rush, appreciate you very much, man. Thank you. But, you know, I've got to ask you this question. What do you expect from our logic-free zone known as Washington, D.C.? Well, uh, that's, that's a that, – forget <laughs> it. I mean, no, nothing's going to change that. I've, I've worked in Washington, D.C., training uh, uh, people from TV to do radio, and and oh, I lived across the bridge in Alexandria, and it's, it's a lost cause. I mean, there's – if you shut down the political machine that it, the way it runs there, that basically it would be a ghost town. Well, Rush, I mean, Rush, I am so sorry, Rick. I, I no, you're didn't fine. Mean that. That's all right. But the, the thing about it is uh, we have got to put the Ten Commandments back in, take our founding fathers' principles, and reestablish them back in our nation's national life, but more importantly in our people's national life because – in Second Chronicles, I believe it is, it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven above and heal their land. That is the solution so simple. We have got to, as you said earlier, get God back in our national life, but most importantly in our individual lives, because it's the home, the parents. That's where the kids really learn. And so, you know, the examples that the parents set are also part of the issue. And uh, I just really appreciate you getting out there with with this information. And thank you. I I appreciate it. Go to uh, WBAP Facebook Schools, Politician Free Zone. Share it. Get it out in front of as many people as you possibly can. The liberals are going to hate this. They're going to hate this because they're going to know exactly what I'm doing. You know, I'm no theologian, uh, so I can't quote scripture. I mean, there's a few I know. But what he, the scripture he just gave you is absolutely correct. Ah, oh, Rick, I don't believe in God. I don't believe. Okay, well, that's fine. That's your prerogative. i uh, tell you what, just as an experiment, try it. And if it doesn't work, you're vindicated. There's no God. If you try it and it does work, well, okay, maybe. All right, I'll take a maybe. That'll work. You see what I'm saying? All right. Uh, go to WBAP, Facebook, WBAP, hashtag schools politician free zone politicians you don't even need to be in the same zip code save for the mayor the governor perhaps uh you don't need to be there and if you're there i can only 
deduce one thing. You're using kids to push a political agenda. Stop. Stop using our kids. Let's check your afternoon drive.